Yes, yes, deputy ministers so and in different capacities, yeah. different yeah. ministries, so including local government. Yeah. He is one person yeah. who actually yeah. fought side by side yeah. physically so with the president of Gabby against who stood up against the British. Yeah. You know? And then they you know his efforts in um, fighting the British, taking the British to court in fact, in, 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 in the United Kingdom and against the uh, iniquity, uh, iniquitous sanctions that they emitted on us which we are still uh, lumbered with and to, to right up to the uh, to his death he has been fighting uh, Really, in a, in, a, in, a, in a manner that that was different from everybody else, mm. that he decided so he using his own resources mm. to fight the British, and 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 they know them. Yes, everyone has been fighting against sanctions. Mm. Yes, everyone has been talking against sanctions. Mm. But his was a practical demonstration mm. of uh, and sanctions. And, and, and so that kind of demonstration, that kind of bravery, that kind of putting up a fight with the British. Uh, is is something that uh, Zimbabweans should always uh, emulate, and, and, uh, and so he is a truly a national hero. Uh, when I was phoned yesterday, I was right in the middle of my constituents in Malani. Uh, as a member of the political, what my view was, mm -hmm. I, I, I say that my, my view is, is just one, mm -hmm. that we be declared a national hero. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that uh, uh, the majority of the members of the political uh, shared that view, mm -hmm. uh, that he has uh, been accorded a very defeating status of a national hero. That's what he was. You you know when you fight the British to the extent of taking them to court in their own backyard, you are even inviting you know sanctions on yourself, which you are, and that had a lot of uh, not only political but also economic impact on, on, on himself as a businessman, and, and you know he automatically would be denied all the opportunities of uh, doing business with any British company and uh, yet he had such a huge business that would need the require, for example, spare parts uh, from, from Europe. But then he forfeited all that for the sake of the love of his country. So we will miss him. He is somebody who had a lot of, I don't know, a lot of respect for me. And he, he was very, very close to me. He is uh, somebody I looked up to as a father, as a, as, as, as a mentor. And, and indeed, he was uh, a model. Uh, and uh, we really miss him. Zimbabwe will miss him. So we miss a man who believed in indigenization and economic power in real time, not just uh, talk show belief, but he believed in it, he demonstrated it, and he advocated for it. So we will miss him, we will, uh, but uh, Zimbabwe, I'm sure, because uh, some of us are mm. uh, is happy that uh, God gave us a name in uh, uh, Guy Georgia, a man who was practical, a man who was straightforward, a man who would live up to the ideals of uh, a real freedom of our people.